This is Business Today for April 26, 2016. I'm Marlon Madden. Officials of the Barbados Port Inc. are already reporting operational improvements following the completion of a $115 million expansion and upgrade project. The upgrade forms part of the organization's overall master plan to improve efficiency and cut costs. Chief Executive Officer of the Barbados Port Inc., David Jean-Marie, says the upgrades, which include the building of a new bar, a jetty, and the acquisition of modern state-of-the-art equipment, will result in more business. He was speaking to reporters yesterday following a commissioning ceremony. Expansion and upgrade of the facility started May last year and was completed in October. What we would expect to increase business coming out of the Panama Canal's expansion, um, we can handle larger vessels than before at a faster rate. We will therefore give shipping lines and other entities the confidence that they can bring, they can transship through Barbados. And we've already seen exponential growth in the transshipment business here at Barbados. But we, we have a long way to go. Jean-Marie said further improvements of the Harbour Road St. Michael facility are already in the pipeline. We have proposals to consider constructing berth 6, which is perpendicular to berth 5. We will look at perhaps another gantry crane. We are looking at building a large, what we call a CFS, container freight station, uh, which would re replace sheds 3 and 4, as well as shed 2, the personal effect shed. That shed will also allow us to remove a lot of the vehicular and pedestrian traffic that comes through the port, which is really a bit unsafe. So it would, and it would improve the efficiency of the organization also. We are also considering building uh, a home port facility. When it comes to attracting and retaining high net worth individuals, a stable political and economic climate continues to work in Barbados' favor. That's the view of investment services firm JNT Bank & Trust. In fact, the company is confident that Barbados will continue to attract international business despite the ongoing Panama Papers scandal and other external threats to the sector. Newly appointed Chief Executive Officer of JNT Bank & Trust, Derek Cummins, says whenever there are new developments in the sector, clients are most concerned about island's stability. We can promise that we've always had political stability. Uh, we've always um, had economic stability. And... Um, we are still there. You know, things are not as rosy as, as, as we, we want them. Things are not advancing as hard as we want them. Some of the tough decisions aren't, aren't being made, but, but we are still stable. And um, that is what, above all else, clients want. Cummings was addressing the recent launching ceremony of the company's 20th anniversary celebrations. He said JMT Bank and Trust remains committed to growing its operations in Barbados. We are looking towards the next the next 20 years of, of, of service to, to our clients, so 20 years of um, confidence in, in what we can do as Barbadians. Again, thanks to our human capital, thanks to, to our, our government's facilitating of business and um, treaty networks, etc. Um, 20 years takes some achievement, it takes commitment, as it says it now, to providing top quality services and, and solutions to our clients. Um, commitment to jurisdiction. Of course, there are troughs and there are crests, but today, JNT Bank and Trust is confident that we have established a robust operation and we are well positioned for what comes next. Now for today's financial tip. Instead of thinking what my spouse doesn't know will never hurt him or her, disclose your bad spending habits early. The sooner you do, the more likely you are to get help. This will not only result in you cutting back in those bad spending habits and saving more instead, it could also save your marriage. That's been the business today. Join us again on Thursday. Until then, you can get more business and news by logging on to www.barbadostoday.bb, subscribing to our e-paper and liking us on Facebook. I'm Marlon Madden.